What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. We are here at Kingsley Plantation. It's a kind of a cool place to visit. Lots of history here, but they're closed. And I don't know why. Let's visit the park website. You, right. you, we can go walk parks or walk trails. Yeah, we can walk trails. You had your hand on your hips, reading the sign like you're getting ready to call someone's manager. Are you Karen? Get in the car, Karen. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is it it's mad? open area why would it not be open I'm not sure and it's a national park so it's a national and, park right yeah Isn't it's a state park no it's national national, national park oh. services and our it's fancy our um governor opened them like three weeks ago yeah but that's okay i mean we kind of we've done all the the audio tour i've done the audio have you done the audio i've tour? learned everything yeah. i've gone to king's zoo like 20 times so this is this was a spanish plantation mm -hmm. um Long, long time ago. Don't remember when. It was owned by a Spanish man, and he actually had his wife was formerly a slave, and they owned um, like eighty slaves on this plantation. Wow. Yeah. So they still have the slave quarters, and they have the plantation house, but you can learn all about the history of everything um, there. And they have like an audio tour. You it's it's wildlife, it's a great it's place life. to visit. Um, you, you need to check here. it out if if you're ever in this area. It's a nice do detour. It's worth coming here. But there's lots of hiking trails. Hiking in Florida is and more biking. like more like um, off-road walking. We call it. <laughs> uh, you're not really. Yeah, lots of biking too. Yeah, it's really just walking through sand with tennis shoes on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But lots of trails to walk through here and enjoy it's weird nature. That there's houses out here, man. Did you know that they they made the the foundation for all the buildings was made out of. Um, it's not oyster. Coquina. Or it's no. It, so I don't. It might be oyster. So they grind down the shells. Yeah. And they mix it with water and sand. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Abby it's really so wants pretty. music, so you're gonna have to stop vlogging. You want some music? Like, yes, I'm fighting for it right now. Well, I mean, I have pretty cool copyright free music. All right, let's hear it. Good stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> How long is this segment gonna be? <laughs> I don't know. Guys, we're, we're not actually we're listening to music. I'm just for I'm running music in the. Dad's got you, you know what left. I did. Okay. YouTube's yeah. hard. <laughs> Going on a walk in the woods. Y'all wearing some stylish, stylish looking yeah, hiking shoes. Fancy hikers. <laughs> you know. It's like a van commercial. Yeah. Abigail walking with Becca in summer and stuff during respite has been beneficial to just getting out and doing stuff. Yeah. She's much more inclined to just willingly go for a walk. What did I say? Tennis shoes. Sand. Walking, Florida hiking. Shh, I hear. You hear that? Yeah. Native Florida wildlife. What people? With their birds? '90s alternative music and bush light. Bush light. <laughs> this part of the trail heads out to the to a point. Yeah. I think this is where the sandbars are, isn't it? I mean, there is a party going on over there. Yeah. Listening to Green Day right now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty girls. Come on. This is cool. Yeah, it is. You got it, girly. You got it. One step at a time. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. It's cool, huh? Oh, look at it. look at the dog running in his life jacket. So like across the sandbar. Oh my goodness. See him? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> look at you. Feel nervous? 
You're okay. Isn't that cool? You're okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stay right here. Let me take you guys' picture. Why are you pulling me? You wanna keep walking? We can keep going. We just wanna come out of here and to the point and look at the water and stuff. Behold, it's the great American teenager. Posted up in a scenic location, staring at Snapchat. It's hot. Can we go home? <laughs> Girl, you look majestic out there. So if you... What are you smiling about, you goober? We, uh, if you remember the boat vlog, we went on our friend Dustin's boat, and we we're, and were like, uh, we need one of these. Yeah. It's come up in conversation often, you know, we keep talking about it. Not nothing crazy. So like, don't be surprised. We gotta go hang out with Dustin. Don't be surprised. With, He's got yeah. all the things that we want. We gotta go hang out with Dustin again. Right? Or we just need friends with a boat that's a lot cheaper. Um, nothing crazy, not looking, you know, mega yacht or anything. Shot a, con, just something yacht. like, you know, the, these, uh, like a bow rider, smaller boat that we can take out to the sand dune, pack a lunch. And, Bring the grill out there and have some chairs. And but mom needs a bathroom. She says she wants a bathroom. Let the, boat. let the doggies run up and down the sand dune or the uh, sandbar. Well, doggy Maverick's not. A baby. Yeah, Maverick's not gonna. Maverick's just gonna hey, sit Mike. on the thing with his paws over the edge. Anyway. Yeah, let the way he does. How he does the first couple he, times. He he won't lead the boat. <laughs> he probably won't get in the boat. To be honest with you. <laughs> Next time we'll bring the dogs. I did not know this was. Yeah. Well, we didn't know. Didn't know the dogs were allowed here or not. I just saw a sign. It said pets pets on a leash. What's wrong? Abby, get her, get her, get her. What happened? A snake. Oh, oh god, mom. Well, you gotta react save, better. Save, save your save daughter. daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I pushed her out of the way and oh. she got upset. Oh, and she got mad. Mom of the year award over here. I pushed her out of the way. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. She wasn't being mean, Abby. She was saving your life from the terrible snake. It was green. Oh, a green one? It's okay. I just wanted to see how big it was. Everybody just chill out. I about broke my ankle trying to get away from it. It's okay. I'm I like nervous. jumped him back and Don't pushed her. Mom. Look, she's like slapping mom in the chest. So like, Let's go. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. She didn't mean it. She was trying to help you. It scared her. It scared her. I thought my head, my brain immediately went to Juniper Springs or whatever with the with the ground wasps, uh, with the ground bees. Yeah. I thought they were just like swarming you all of a sudden. So I'm gonna tell that story. Yeah. Um, next time, next time I do like a solo twitch. Yeah. I'm gonna do a story time. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. That was a epic camping trip. Just <laughs> with all the crazy time. things that happened. Okay, yeah, keep the mosquitoes off you. We have like four bottles of. Bug spray at home, we forgot it. It's in the afternoon time, so they're getting ridiculous. Yeah, we dodged a spider web on the way out here. Like, covered the whole trail. Mm -hmm. Huge. We dodged it. Forgot about it on the way back. I just got my face wrapped up like a <laughs> villain from a Spider Man <laughs> movie. So funny, bro. Abby had a then, huge horse fly on her leg, just yeah. lunching on her. So, there's a interesting autism fact for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Developmental delay autism, uh, whichever it might be, I'm not really sure. But higher pain threshold and or inappropriate responses to pain. Well, I think that also, um, what was the girl's name that used the soundboard? She like learned to type really, really well. Yeah. Um, you know, she talked about like delayed response. Yes. You think that might be part of it too? Yes. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> That's candy. It's like dad, candy time. No, Sorry, I'm swatting these walk. yellow flies and horse flies. You gotta keep walking. Keep moving, they're gonna get you. Come on. I ain't afraid. Yeah, I mean, it got her, like, her, she's got a little <coughs> spot of blood on the side of her knee, and she was just walking along with it there until, until I saw it. Yeah, she had to kind of. But she can full force, like, you know, march in through the house and stub her toe on something and not really react at all. Like, she'll kick the crap out of a wooden chair barefoot 
and I have no reaction. Me, I throw myself on the floor when that happens. The only thing that I think she really, that really bothers her is like when she like cuts her foot or has something in it and something like that. <laughs> yeah, it gets her back. Well, yeah, when she can't walk, right? right? We made it. Like, pain we survived. Wasn't that cool? Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Not having a good time. Priscilla twisted her ankle. <laughs> Dodging the snake. Her shoes are filled with sand. Just sweating profusely. She's like, it was a great time. So <laughs> glad that we went. Yeah. So much fun. I'm okay, so seriously, not like an outdoorsy person. <laughs> but this is how like every adventure yeah. that we go on. This isn't even an adventure. This is a walk yeah. in the woods. This is how it goes every single time. Okay, so we went a quarter mile. So I'm I'm gonna tell the whole story Total. on Twitch. Make sure you're following on Twitch. But <laughs> Let's see, there were uh, murder wasps, there were there were ground bees or yellow jackets, there was a gator, there was a uh, razor sharp river bottom uh, uh, quarry, not quarry, uh, spring rocks, there were, what other? River snakes. Um, partying college students. Um, faux, faux river snakes. Torrential downpours. I mean, it was just, you, you got, it, it, it's such a good story though. It's great. You got oh my yours. goodness, we are so excited. Come on, let's go see Nanny. Is that you coming in? Yeah. You gonna get your snack? <laughs> Where are you going? You can have a snack. No, get out of there though. Come on. Let Nanny help you. Your nanny's got any treats. You ready for your bag? Wipe oh, it. I like your mobile office. You do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you brought the printer home and everything. Yep, I have to because I got to print so much stuff. I mean, that's just, that's a, that's a printer. Yeah. Say thanks for letting us Thank stop you. by. I'm glad you came by to use my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I called Priscilla's mom and I'm like, I'm like, hey, I just want to see if you guys were home. We we're going to stop by. She's like, no, we're not home. She's like, we just left though. We can turn around. I'm like, oh, okay just left but you know their grandparents they could be 15 miles away we just left we'll turn around because they want to see the grandbabies <laughs> they didn't had they had not just left it took them a little while to get back here. yeah i bet you they were pulled in already where they were going <laughs> well, yeah they were yeah they were probably fixing to get out of the car to go in they said did y'all just stop to go to the bathroom we're like no no we stopped to visit but that was a bonus yeah. totally a bonus i ate half my ice cream thinking about this and how to deliver it because we get comments sometimes. Sometimes they're really, really rude and like attacking comments. But, but, and and I and I we never want to like address the haters or the you know the haters or, or anything like that Give in the attention vlog, to right? Trolls. Exactly. Give attention to trolls. But what that tells me is that that we have to continue to do what we're doing to educate people because there are also people who aren't trolls and who aren't haters and who aren't being jerks. They just don't know and they may not understand and stuff. So. This person talked about, you know, um, us abusing Abby that, like, like holding her down is abusive. Right. right. And I said, we've never actually held her down. We have to hold her arms. Yeah. And I'll show and you. When they she's are... getting really angry and biting. Let me see your arm, kiddo. Let me see. So, that's, that just happened. And she got angry, and we don't know why. You know, I'm sure she has a reason. I don't want to say for no reason. Um, she had ice cream just like everybody else. You know, she wasn't super interested. She's not a big ice cream person. Um, but these things happen, and it's it's either that or she basically chews through her arm. Like she'll she's drawn blood before, and uh, and it doesn't get any better. And then she takes that on us as well. So we do have to restrict that. You know, that that violent aggressive behavior for her safety for other people's safety um so she doesn't break the seat of the car because she rocks so hard like there's a lot of reasons there but it's never like we are controlled right and we are doing this for her safety it's not like it's a punishment thing or anything either it's well, never and it's like, never to, like you know, out of anger on right, our feet yeah. you know what i mean like we're actually in so you kind of flip a switch and you're like, I need to help her. Yep. Not even hey. like, I don't know. It's 
yeah, it's my daughter, but it's like I need help this person not hurt herself. Yeah, you know what I and mean. We, and we've been doing this for so many years. Yeah. Um, that it's like you, like you said, we flip a switch. Like it's go mode. Everybody in the family. Yeah. You know, helps. We know what to do. Summer's always on Chewy duty. She always grabs the yeah. Chewy. She grabs the we Chewy. Determine that it's a funny thing that she does. And, and go figure, we didn't have a Chewy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Because Summer's not here. <sighs> Would have had it. Love you, kiddo. You know that. So when you, and even it's not just our me. family, when you see other people who, and I even, I hated that they, that person said to me specifically, hold her down, because we're not, we're restraining her yeah. from hurting herself. Right. And I mean, people go, like, Ooh. it's not like we've never done it in front of her school or her therapist. Like, they've taught us how to. <clears throat> yes. People have taught us how to help um, make sure that she's not hurting herself. So if you ever see a family doing that, Make sure that you're, you know, understanding the whole yeah, situation. Yeah, maybe look at the situation and, and assess, like, okay, what's going on here? Is this, like, what the mosses were talking about? Don't right. just react. Yeah. Think about it. Well, yep. when Abby and I went to, um, on the cart, and she had a meltdown, like, I had to help her. Right. And fire department, like, literally two truckfuls of firefighters walked by, and they didn't even bat an eye. Because they could tell yeah. I was in control of the situation, like, you know... And we'll actually, I'll ask her, um, you know, when she's, she, sometimes she'll do it just sitting on the couch, just have a, you know, yeah, seemingly random out of nowhere, um, a full on violent meltdown. Um, and most of the violence is directed towards herself. It's self injurious, but I'll ask her, like, do you need my help? And she'll tell me yes. And then, so I'll sit down behind her and, and do the basket hold on her so that she can't bite her arms, but she, you know, she's not like, I, I think we've demonstrated the basket hold before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, so um, I don't know what video it is. If someone wants to works really well. comment, I'll, I'll pin your comment with the with the link for the video. But yeah, so the basket hold, and uh, it it's restricting, but it's not pinning. Like you're not compressed compressed on her. She just can't get her arms to her mouth. She can't kick you. She can't bite you. That kind of thing. Right. So. Um, but I just want to educate people, you know. Seeing comments like that makes me realize, like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta educate people more on on these things, and not just, not just, oh, we had a super fun, happy family day. But we also had, you know, there's reality, some that. violent moments, and and that's every day, though. Like that's every single day. I I want to entertain you guys. I want you guys to to enjoy yourselves, escape things that you may need to escape. To you know, I know there are people out there that genuinely need an escape, and, and we want to provide that. But then we also want to provide reality and education, mm-hmm. and and real world, and to show you like we're fine. Yes, yeah. you know, our though everybody's staring at us because the whole car is shaking. <sighs> Um, when she's going through it and we're okay. I mean, it's, you know, these, this happens. It's, this is our normal. So you guys yeah. should see it when, when the windows are down and she's yelling and the Duncan <laughs> oh, yeah. drive through. they love us. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. In like the cart. She loves Duncan. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, stop getting my coffee order wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, and then it's real life too. Like, you know, Isaiah referenced the scene. Hey. It's okay, Kyle. You want more ice cream or what? You can communicate what you no. what you need. No ice cream. What do you need? You need a drink? Okay. Here. I have, a drink. I have water you for you. Yeah, mom's got one. Too. I think she's just frustrated, having a hard no? time communicating what she okay. wants. So, um, the Isaiah reference the scene from the Avengers. Yeah. When Black Widow is calming down. Uh, yeah, Hulk. she meets Hulk in the woods, and she's like, "Hey, big guy." Sun's getting real low. <laughs> it's totally what it's, it's like. You're like, it hey, is. Take a deep like, breath. It's okay. Just what communicate. Do you just communicate. Do you think that um, when Abby has a moment like that, like, do you think that? Because you said, you know, she'll kind of look at her arm. Like, she oh she's looking at you like, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? <laughs> um, like when she looks at her arm and stuff, and she's like, like tapping it and stuff. Do you think that there's kind of like eyes glazed over like separation from how she normally acts like i don't want to say a different person because that's not what i mean but you no, know i know i know it's, so when she goes into an actual not a tantrum but an actual meltdown mm-hmm. it's different there's there you can tell there's a there's a lack of a total loss of I feel control like there's a disconnect of yes of who abby is and yeah you know who I, so I try people, to picture like like absolute rage you know like like what is you know real rage like you just kind of you don't even think about what you're doing 
kind of thing in the moment, and I think she does. I think she looks, because she'll look at her arm every time and, like, touch it, and she's like, what did I do, you know? So I've actually had friends that their kids are verbal, and they've told them, like, in the midst of it they cannot they don't have control over what they're doing so if they're being aggressive towards you and then when they get out of it they are so apologetic and so I definitely feel like that's the same for Abigail like, right. even though she can't verbalize that to us I think that's how she feels you don't want to go that makes sense so do you just want us to drive this is the cutest thing ever isn't she Oh, it's comfy pants time, huh, Ab? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That is an outfit. Yeah, it is. Hey, man, we're at home. Nobody's judging us from here. Can I put on comfy pants, too? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Hey, oh, hey. I, I could do some, hey. some sweatpants, some comfy pants. Can you do some shorts? Hey. You look like a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser commercial. <laughs> Things are the best. I keep meaning to put a handrail up there to keep Abby's hands off the wall. Yeah. I gotta remember to well, do that. Doing? Next time we go to Lowe's, we'll do that. What's your I got a gift card for Christmas or something. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. did you have a pretty good day? Mm -hmm. Listen here, Stripes and Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. did, did you have. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm asking you a question. Dad's talking to you. Did you have. <laughs> Did, did you have a good day? I'm glad. We're not gonna go in the car. It's it's. We went a lot today. We drove all over the place to do, doing fun stuff. Sandy, leave him alone. If he's on his bed, you can't mess with him. Remember? Is it work time? Yeah. Is it work time? Yeah. yeah that's Maver that's Maverick's base. It's like base can't get me. Sandy, come here. Sandy, upstairs. Come here. Get your ball. Get your ball. Have a hug. Mm -hmm. Alright guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <gasps> Thanks for hanging out. Hey. Y'all quit. What is with the animals? The farm nice. around here. Alright. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were giving you a hard time. Yeah, I was like mom of the year award. I thought that you were like totally, ran and left her. It totally looked like you went, oh my god, Abby. Ah. <laughs> Pull through her at it. <laughs> Save me.